Hey everyone, this is the Heavy Heavy Hearts Dream Cuisine featuring the Heavy Heavy Hearts. I'm Clark Singleton from the Heavy Heavy Hearts. Thanks for joining us. Days to go out since I went ahead and cut you out. Out of my life, woman, out of my love. This baby girl you will never know for me. Alright, you guys. Well, today's dinner is gonna be what I like to call the rockin' ramen. Alright, so a lot of times you're on the road, you don't really get to eat on the road. When you come home, you want a nice meal. So let's go over some ingredients that we're gonna be working with today. Obviously for the rock and ramen, we're gonna have two packs of chicken ramen. Now, for today it's very important that we're gonna have chicken ramen, okay? Keep that, keep that in mind. And also, we're gonna need some cutting boards because we are gonna do some cutting with our knife here. Also, we have this very special utensil. This is called a spoonchilla. We would like to thank Rachel Ray for making this great invention. Not only is it a spoon, but it's also a spatula. That's how they came up with spoonchula. So we'll see it work a little bit later. Also, something you never want to leave home without is our vegetable oil so that things don't fire and burn and stuff. And also, when you're always cooking, you want to keep the cook happy, right? So you got to put a little bit of, you know, a little medicine in there, you know, just a little bit of medicine, uh, you know, because you don't want too much, because you don't want too much um, you know, so just a little bit, a little dab will do you. All right, then we gotta put a little bit of polar, uh, polar bear Coca Cola in there. You gotta find the polar bear one because that's the cutest. All right, we're gonna take a little, a little sip of that. Yeah, okay, all right, now one thing I forgot we have chicken. This is our main ingredient today. Now, if you'll notice. Chicken, chicken. Let's do that again. Chicken, chicken. Now, through the magic of television, we already have pre-thawed chicken. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut up this chicken and we'll see you after the break. featuring the Heavy Heavy Hearts. Right now, uh, hang on. Right now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the burner on between nine and high. You know, some people's burners are different. We're gonna take some water, you know, usually two glasses worth. You gotta be very precise when cooking um, so that, um, you know, everything is right perfectly, right amount, right, okay. Just gotta add, just maybe if we need a little bit later. So we're just gonna let that go uh, for a little while, and then uh, you know it's gotta it's gotta get hot because it's gotta make the ramen soft. Because if it's not, then it's hard. Come on over here with me. Uh, we're gonna cut the chicken now. Okay. So we got our sharp knife. You know you need a very sharp knife because if not, it won't cut through the chicken, and then you'll just have large pieces of chicken. We're gonna cut. You know these aren't. Not super uh, thought out. I guess we should have thought that out. Should have thought, thought that, thought that out. So uh, okay, I cut these up real nice. You can get close up in that if you want to. It's easy, you know. Just slices so that it fits in your mouth easier. 
you know, you don't want too big because then you have to bite it. You just, you know, I just want to say that this is, uh, you know, organic, frozen. Uh, we get it from, you know, the place down the street. It's very nice chicken. Just cut it up, you know, into little tiny bits. So now that we have our chicken, you know, cut up into tiny bits, we're going to grab our spoon chilla, okay? Don't forget that. We're going to bring this too. We're going to grab this. Okay? Come on over with me. We're going to go over to this pan here, which we're going to set to, I don't know, about five or six. Got to be very precise. Got to wait for that to get a little bit hot. Now, when you're dealing with raw chicken, all right, I just want everyone to know that we are using live candles, okay? So we did have one of our candles fall into our uh, our cooking thing here, and uh, I'm trying to get all of the candle crap out of here so that our delicious rocket ramen doesn't taste like candles. All right, so we'll be we'll be right back in just a second. I won't know what it's gonna take. Oh, I won't know what it's gonna take. I won't know what it's gonna take. Oh, I won't know what it's gonna take. Alright, well, uh, things are just about done here. Um, I think uh, I need to garnish it with something. So uh, we're just going to go over here to the uh, refrigerator to see if we have anything. Baby kale. Sure. It won't hurt anybody. You know, a little color uh, to the light. Still fresh. I feel very fresh. I'm going to put a little baby kale right here into with the chicken. Okay, we need to fold it in. Real nice. We don't want the kale to burn, so we just want to fold it, loosen it up a little bit, turn off the uh, thing here because it's hot enough to cook the kale. Oh, that looks nice. That looks really nice. We need to throw this chicken flavor packet, which has all the sodium and yummy things in it, into our ramen just like this. Now you want to do it just like this so it gets a lot of air in between it. All right. Just like this. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Can you smell it? Can you smell it? Wish you could. All right. We're going to turn off both of our burners. All right. Put my spoonchilla over here so it doesn't get ruined. Actually, I'm going to need my spoonchilla. Just kidding, because you need your spoonchilla for everything. Bring our plate back over here. We're going to put our rockin' ramen right here, just like this. Plate it real nicely. Really nice. All right, and then we're going to throw in our chicken and baby kale, just like this. Holy moly, look who's 40. This looks delicious. All right, so I'm going to finish plating this up, and let's enjoy a nice rockin' dinner together. We'll be right back. The Dorian would be the two. Okay, Mixolydian, G Mixolydian would be the five, and C Ionian would be the major. I agree. Uh, all right, well, it's time for Clark's favorite part, the eating part. Let's go ahead and taste this rockin' ramen. We gotta get some of this kale, some of the chicken and ramen. Let's taste it. Mmm, mmm, that tastes so good. Well, thanks for joining me today. I'm Clark Singleton. This has been Dream Cuisine featuring the Heavy Heavy Hearts. Check us out, heavyheavyhearts.com or on Facebook at the Heavy Heavy Hearts. Facebook, Heavy Heavy Hearts. Thanks and have a great day. Oh, that's a hot one. Doesn't need noise and doesn't need noise.